I think that over the next two or three years, you're going to see quite wow. significant breakthroughs. Yeah. Speaking of uh, prediction, in one of your previous interviews, you predicted that within 10 years, the deep learning computation would be a million times advanced from now. Mm. So by then, there's going to be 10 million people employed for programming and decoding while leaving the other 8 billion behind. In such an AI-driven world, does that suggest the lives and survives of the majority will be purely determined by the hand of AI technology experts? Well, AI has this incredible capability to reduce the cost of knowledge. Reducing the cost of learning uh, has the potential to lift society. You put, you put um, nurses, digital nurses, AI nurses, in developing countries that can't afford to have nurses. You put, you know, AI doctors in countries that can't afford to have AI doctors, can't have can't afford to have doctors. And so all of these different capabilities escalate and rise, raise the capabilities of the developing countries and people who don't have access. Now, the other thing that's really uh, quite clear is that AI is incredibly good at understanding what you need. So you don't have to program it. For the very first time, you have a computer that you, have, you don't have to program with a language that most people don't know, computer programs. Anybody can program a computer now. Just go to ChatGPT and ask it to do it. So if you know how to express your intentions, you can communicate with an AI and the AI can write the program for you. So now everybody is a computer programmer. What an amazing thing what, that we've done. And so we've raised the uh, capability of everyone. We've lowered the access to knowledge and capability, and that should, that should lift uh, all of society.